Hello everyone, my name is Leo, and today we're going to be teaching you how to modify music in BB Tag uh, for the PC only, unfortunately. Sorry, console users. Uh, there are a few tools that we're going to need first before we get into this. We're going to need, obviously, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle for PC. We need that. Uh, we're going to need any sort of audio editing tool, like Audacity, or uh, if you have like Audition or something, that works too. We're going to be using Audacity because it's free and I know how to use it, so that's that. Uh, we're going to need something called the Geo BB Tag Crypt tool. We're going to need something called Pack FC, something called Wavasaur, and something called the uh, what's it called? Microsoft Cross Platform Audio Creation Tool, or Xact, as I'll be calling it. And the downloads for these will be in the description below, and we'll get to these as we get to them, so we won't have to worry about that. Normally, I would say we need another program called Cheat Engine, but unfortunately, the tables that we have for Cheat Engine are a little bit broken. We can't exactly use it to determine what we have. So instead, we're going to be using a spreadsheet that I have over here. Uh, and we'll be using that to determine what sort of files that we need to access. So the first thing that we're going to need to do normally is if we had cheat engine, we would find the file name of what we're looking at. Because the problem with BB tag is that it's all encrypted. If you go into the asset folder, every single file in the game looks like this. It's all just a bunch of garbled nonsense and you can't tell what is what you can just tell that some files are bigger than the others that doesn't really tell us much so uh, right now I'm compiling a table of which of these files corresponds to which of the songs in game right now it's not very complete but that's because I haven't done anything except for what I'm working on in this tutorial so instead we're just gonna go ahead and use this the link for the spreadsheet is gonna be in the description below and I'll finish this up before I put the video out so you have a little bit more to work with so the file that we're going to be modifying today is the song White Requiem, which, if you're familiar with Blaze Blue, it's the battle theme before Ragna and Rachel. So normally if we had Cheat Engine working, we would be able to identify it by going into the game, but that's a whole other tutorial. And since it's broken right now, I'm not really going to touch on it. Uh, instead, we'll just go ahead and see that the file name we need is right here. So we're going to copy that. We're going to go into the asset folder for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, which if you don't know where that is, let's say I close that. Uh-oh, where do I go? You can go to Steam, right click on the game name over here, go down to Properties. Oh, it's over on this screen. Uh, we'll go to Local Files up in these top tabs, and we'll hit Browse Local Files. And there we are. Go to Asset, and here's all the game files like I showed you earlier. So we have that copied from earlier, that long string of nothing. And we'll paste that right in there, and it gives us this file. So this file right here is Re White Requiem. That's the song that we're going to be changing. So we'll go ahead and copy that file, and we'll take it all the way to the music tutorial page uh, that I have made just for this. It's a little folder uh, where I have all the tools in here. So we'll take the original file because you always want to keep backups. Paste that in there just in case we damage something or we can't find it anymore. So White Re Requiem is now with us. Uh, and I'm going to take this song that I have. I'm just going to take City Escape from Sonic Adventure 2 because it's a fucking banger. Uh, we're going to copy that just for ease. Actually, we don't even need to copy that. Get out of there. Uh, so we're going to take this song, now that we have it, and we're going to drag it into Audacity. Boop. Just like that. Now already, there's a small problem. Firstly, what I always like to do is get rid of this little... Some songs have like a little bit of dead air right at the beginning, just so there's... Uh, like That was like 0.15 of a second, just so there's a little bit of a lead. Um... There's already a bit of a problem though. You see all this gray space above and below all this blue. That blue is our sound. And BB Tag quiets down the music quite a bit. We want our sound to be as much as possible. We want to fill up. I'm pointing with my finger. I don't know why I'm doing that. Uh, we want to fill up all of this gray space up here with all of this blue space. So the way we can do that, and it's not exactly the most professional way, um, but the way that we can do that is if we go up to Effect and Audacity, we hit effect and we go down to normalization and what this does is it takes the loudest parts of the song and puts them at zero decibels which is the loudest it can be without clipping the mic without making it sound bad we go okay now that's good a lot of the space is already filled up which is great but we can still be a little bit louder and this is the fast way to do it uh, it's definitely not what a professional audio engineer would do but we're not exactly professional audio engineers we're gonna go down to limiter right here and we'll click that and I say we can limit it to one point let's do 1.8 just to be safe so what that's gonna do is it's gonna take all these little straggly bits up here the ones that are sticking up really far 
it's going to chop them off. So we have a clean, straight, vertical line. And we'll hit OK. Yep, so you see that was a little bit. Uh, let's see if we can do that a little bit more. Control Z, and I'll bump that up to 2.7. Click that. There we go. That's a much, much more straight line. Go down to Effect, and we'll normalize it up to zero again. Mucho better. If you want, you can do it another time. I don't know how this is going to sound. It's probably going to stifle a lot of the highs. But uh, one thing about the highs is that they usually tend to come through either way, even if you try to stifle them. So compared to what we had earlier, this is a lot less gray space and a lot more blue space. So we're going to go back to the beginning of the song and we'll go ahead and hit play just to make sure that it doesn't sound too bassy or blown out. <laughs> That sounds fine. That sounds fantastic. All right, so that's our song. It's at our full, it's at the loudest volume that we probably want it without it being too blown out or sounding bad or anything. So the next step is we want it to loop because Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle isn't like Guilty Gear and it has its songs loop sometime, uh, especially with the Persona and the Uniel songs. Uh, and the way that we can do that because we don't want a song that goes on forever because that's insane. Uh, it would be a huge file size. Instead, what we're going to do, the, the fastest way for me to do it is we need to find a loop point. And what we're going to do is, or at least what I like to do, is I like to go to the end of the song and find where the song naturally ends, or it would naturally repeat, rather, and then find a loop point for that. So we'll go ahead and hit play, and we'll find a place where we can feel like the song's going to repeat. Alright, so the song sort of ends. Uh, let me see if I can find a good place for that. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, so what we can do is we can cut it off after that first follow me. So. Follow me. Uh. Follow me. Yeah. This is kind of a tough one. I haven't worked with this specific song before. I think I usually worked with the original one that has an actual ending. Um, but we'll make it work. Follow me. So ignoring the follow me's that come after that, um, I think we can probably cut it off somewhere around here. Yeah, okay. So we can cut it off as it starts to rise before it goes into that. Uh, so if you take note of where we're at in the song where it's like, do 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 Yeah. So uh, when we're here, we're going to hit control I and we're going to split it, which means that this little bit, we can cut it or paste it or move it around or do whatever we need to. And it's going to act completely separate. So now that we're here, we'll go back to the beginning of the song and we'll do... Oh wait, here, let's start over here, sorry. Okay, so, we know that we need, it needs to be somewhere around here when we're gonna repeat. So if you recall, it would be like the... So, sorry, that was really off key, but we're gonna repeat somewhere around here. Yeah. So, oh, hey, we're zoomed in real close here. I like to get really close with my music. I'm sorry. Uh huh. Yeah. So if you get, if you recognize from earlier, we sort of got near this like little bump right here. Uh, and it's all sort of a guessing game from this point on until we can get it to sound right. So we're gonna split it right there with Control I. We're gonna take this little bit over here, double click to select all of it, and we're gonna cut it, move it down here by uh, clicking down and then holding or pressing control V to paste and we're just going to mute it so we don't have to we don't ever have to hear that part again and then to make sure that it loops we're going to double click the rest the majority of the song we'll copy it paste it down here uh, sometimes it shows up grayed out like that I don't know why just double click mute and it'll go away and we'll move it all the way down here so what this is going to do is 
if we tell the song to loop from this point right here, we want to make sure that it actually sounds like it's going to loop. So this is where the tedious part comes in, is just listening to it and making sure that it sounds good. That sounds all right. You, you, there's a little bit of a change in like how the cymbals sound. The cymbals sound a little bit clearer as it loops into the next part, but like. But yeah, I mean, honestly, that sounds pretty fine. Uh, so now that we know that it loops, what we're going to do is we can get rid of that because we don't want that in there. We can make this big again. Uh... And so on the second track, we're going to want to click around where the loop point is. If you click there, like where the, where the slice is, if you click there, you can see there's that big yellow line. That means that we're clicking on where the slice is. And we want to know, we want to be positioned in this place just to make sure. Zoom in extra close. Yes, we're there. Okay. So this is the most tedious part, guys. After this, we're, we're pretty much home clear. So we have our loop point. It's right here. And so that means after this intro plays, it's going to go from this point. To the end of the song, come back here, go to the end of the song, and go on forever and ever, or until they change the music. Uh, we can close this extra track, because we don't want that in there. And then one more thing that we're going to have to do before we save it, go down here where it says Project Rate, click that, and change it to 48,000. I don't know why, but we just need to know that. Second thing that we're going to need to note is the selection start. Start, excuse me. Uh, so we'll open up Notepad, and we'll say City escape is at selections is at 189 132 samples and we just want to hold on to that don't don't worry about what we're doing with that just yet basically we're going to tell a program what we're doing with with that number so export audio is what we're going to want to do export and then when we're here make sure that this is set to wave uh, as microsoft 16-bit pcm uh, again i don't know why that's just how the game wants it and the file name always has to be eight zeros in a row. So zero, 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 zero. There's eight zeros. Again, just trust me. That's what it wants. Save it there. Click OK. All right. So our song is ready to be implemented. Almost. So after we have our original song uh, right here, I'm adding this in later, uh, our, our edited song, I'm going to make a new folder in this folder. And we're going to title it uh, edited loop point because the song is edited and we have the loop point number in there drag that into there so now it's in that separate folder just so we don't lose track of it the next step is we're going to use wavosaur and it's a super easy step super fast uh ooh, what are you doing over here okay there you are and basically what it is is uh it's going to tell it's going to encode onto the wave file where the loop point is and it's going to transfer that data across wherever it's going so we file open uh edit a loop point and we find that song we were working with earlier hit open and it takes that in there we can't play back in this we can't or we can't rather play back through the loop points but we're going to go up to tools up here and we're going to hit loop and we're going to hit whoa, whoa, whoa. We're gonna hit loop and hit create loop point uh, and it defaults them to zero or and the end sample uh, and then we have to go to tools come on loop and then properties and then we can manually tell it where we want it to start. So if you remember earlier, we had a loop point of 189132. Copy and paste that in there. So now it's telling this song specifically to start here and end here. And unfortunately, we can't test the loop in Wavasaur, but that's okay. We don't really need to. We're going to file, save as, uh, and now we have a wave file. But we don't want it in the same area. We don't want it in the same folder just so we don't get mixed up. So I'm just going to go back to the music tutorial. And paste it in here so we have it saved there we don't need you any more wave of bye bye so now that we have our song with the loop point uh, put into it with wave of we're gonna open up a program called exact right here all right so now that we're in exact it's another new program don't worry this one's super easy we're gonna hit new project and if you see this prepack name right here uh, this prepack name right here is the name of the song title prepackaged so we're going to copy this little bit right here 0101 underscore btl underscore brg versus brc 
We're going to go into exact and we're going to save the project as that. Exactly. Just copy paste it. Save. Cool. First thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to wave banks right here. Click that. Right click and new wave bank. And we're going to want to name it, which you can name it up here or down here. Copy and paste the same prepack name as before. And then when we go over to wave bank, we're going to right click into that and we're going to click insert wave file, which means that we're just loading the song into Xact. Hit open and there's our song right there. Notice that it's a PCM format. We'll go into that later. Next, we're going to go down to compression presets. We're going to right click there. We're going to hit new compression preset and we're going to name it again. 0101 underscore battle underscore Ragnar versus Rachel. It's not really Ragnar versus Rachel, but that's what BRG and BRC stands for. So that's what I'm calling it. Uh, scroll on down in this compression preset and we're going to change samples per block. We're going to change that from 128 to 512. I don't know what that changes, but it's important. So we need that. And then one more thing before we're done. Go back up to wave banks. Now that we've created our compression preset, we're going to scroll down to compression preset inside the wave bank up here. I'm going to scroll down. We're going to change that from none to the compression preset we just made. Click that. And you'll notice up here it changed from PCM to ADPCM. That means that we've done it right. Hooray! So, to complete the process, we're going to click this little orange button right here that builds the current project. Click that. It's going to ask you if you want, like, a report to be done after it builds it. You don't need that. Just click finish. And it's going to build it. Do, do, do. Cool. So that means it's done. Close it. You can save it if you want. It doesn't take too long to redo this, so I really don't care. But we'll save it. Why not? Okay. So now that we're here, uh, we've got our we've got our finished uh, build song right here. See, properties was just done uh, at 1042 three minutes ago. Wait a minute. Is that not the right song? No, it's not. Ha! I'm a fool. I tricked you and myself. Instead, the finished song goes in right here. Now, you'll notice that this isn't a song that we can listen to because it's not music. It's data file. So, there's not much we can do with that right now. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to find the original file that we're modifying. If you remember, this is that big jumble of words. This is the song in the game. We're going to copy that and bring that out into our main folder paste so here's our file and we're going to drag that just drag and drop onto the GeoBB tag crypt tool and what this does is it decrypts it from a blank file with no extension into a pack file a packaged file now we still can't open it without the help of our final tool which is pack FC double click that and you get this little guy right here it's a file changer you open that and automatically it's going to find the only thing it can open which are pack files which in this folder we've got the one click it and we'll hit open so now that we're in here we can see two different files the xsb file and the xw excuse me xwb file we're only interested in the xwb file so we're going to right click that in pack fc and we'll hit replace and what that does is obviously it replaces it so if you remember when we saved it from xact it went into this windows folder right here double click that and bada boom, there's our XWB file. Open that, and you get this little thing that says files replaced successfully, or the other way around. Hit OK, and we can close pack FC. Now you see we have three different files in here with similar names. We have the original file, which is what it is in the Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle asset folder. We have our package file, which is what happened when we decrypted this using the crypt tool. Uh, and we have the package backup file, which is the original information. When we replace something with packfc, it replaces this file. So now this is the most updated version. So we can get rid of the backup because we don't need that anymore. That's the old information. Delete that. And we can get rid of the original file. If you remember, we have a backup up here. So if we need it again, we're good. Leaving just the package file. So if we want to get it back into the non-package, just like regular generic file format, just drag this package file back onto GG or excuse me, GeoBB tag crypt tool. Drag it onto there, and bada bing, bada boom. This is our final product. All the work that we've done up to it has given us this beautiful file here. So if you open up your asset folder in BB tag right here, 
get rid of that. Uh huh. And we'll just drag this file down into the asset folder. It's going to say, oh, but there's already one in here. Replace. And we're good to go. So now when the game loads up, it's going to find our song and play that instead of playing White Requiem, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's a sucky song. I don't like it. Probably shouldn't say it's a sucky song. I think it's fine. If we open up Blaze with Cross Tag Battle, we'll be able to find out what we need. Ignore all the mods that I have in. And we'll go ahead and load up White Requiem just to show you what's up. So go to training mode. Alright. Doesn't really matter what characters. We can go down to the BGM and we'll go over to... Where are you? Uh, there it is. White Requiem. Hit J. Or hit accept. On my keyboard it's J. Get ready. And you'll notice it's not going to play White Requiem. But instead... Come on. Yeah, there it is. Big mistake. Oh yeah, sorry, I have my training settings. But yeah, that's it, basically. Uh, your music is now in Blazes with Cross Tag Battle. It works this way for pretty much every song in the game, from my understanding. I don't know how the credits works, I don't know how the story music works. Is there custom music in the story? I don't know. But that's why I'm trying to compile this list to see what works and what doesn't. And I also just want to mod all of the music. And we don't exactly have a comprehensive list for that. So if you've done modding before, or you know the names of some of the files, please let me know and I'll update that for you. But that's basically how we do it. And if you... Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> if you wanted to wait until the end of the song here, I'm going to turn this up a bit, actually. Uh, no, that's not it. There we go. Yeah, my master volume is down. There we go. Yeah, see, it works just fine. So, if you know the name of any of the files, please let me, please let me know and I'll update the spreadsheet. But other than that, that's you basically scares? it. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Blaze with Cross Site Battle Discord. <coughs> wow, I have something in my throat. <laughs> what a great way to end the video. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, reach out to us in the Discord. We're happy to help you out. And that's basically it. Thanks so much and have a great day. Night. I'll end this. Yeah, I'll end this too.